Well, hello fifth grade. Welcome back to Project Based Learning. We are going to continue our journey. And we're, remember, we are trying to get a virtual Rube Goldberg machine, and we're going to do that in Scratch. And this week, we are uh, continuing on with our next stage, stage four. But in today's lesson, I'm going to focus in stage four about cleaning up some of the things that we've done in terms of naming things and making sure all of our stage is working properly. And then stage four, we're gonna do the same kind of animation. So I'm gonna let you add that into stage four. So let's um, go ahead and take a look at Scratch. So here we are back in Scratch. And the first thing I want to look at is here are sprite names. If you notice our sprites, they're named sprite 1, sprite 2, sprite 3, sprite 4, sprite 5. Five Sprite 5 will be for the fourth stage. That's kind of confusing. So to make this a little bit simpler, we're going to go in and rename our sprites. So the first sprite really should be called the ball. So I'm going to change the sprite name to the ball. Then sprite two really is stage one. Sprite three really is stage two. Sprite four is really stage three. And then today we're looking at our new stage which is stage four. I'm gonna be consistent and write out the words. There we go. So now we have our sprites, stage one, stage two, stage three, and stage four, and our ball stage. Now the other thing we want to do in here is when we're ready to start the next stage, we need to add in here a broadcast message that tells the last stage to hide. So we're going to broadcast stage four, and then we're going to hide the ball. Because remember, we hide the ball at the start of the stage before we move it to its correct spot on the screen. So the one thing you might want to do, just in case uh, you lose track of it, is I keep a show block handy. So that way I can see where the ball is, just in case it gets hidden and then I can't find it to position it on the screen. So I just put that there. So I'm going to hit on my broadcast and stage four and hide that. Now in our stage four, we need to put in blocks that actually hide, that actually um, hide stage three. So remember in stage three, we have to say when I receive stage four, we should hide it, right? So in stage four, we're gonna do the same kind of thing. When I receive stage five, because we'll have to have that for next time. We should hide it, but when I sta uh, receive stage four, I should show it. When I receive stage four, I should show this is stage four. When I receive stage five, we're gonna change this to a new message. I'm gonna hide it. So now I am all set, ready to build the stage. Go back and look at my ball. And I'm gonna go and build a stage so you guys can see what I'm doing. And then you guys build a stage. So I'm gonna pause my recording and build it real quick. Okay, so here's what I've come up with. Let me hit my green flag. Goes through stage two. Stage three is what we did last week. The ball falls down and now it looks like it's falling down into this kind of pit spiral kind of thing. Now notice my ball now looks like it's moving. And to make that happen, what I did was on the ball, I went to the costume and I just took the ball and I moved it a little bit off center. So it's not quite on the center anymore. It doesn't affect any of my other stages. All my other stages, work just fine by doing this because you don't want to move it a ton because then everything gets shifted a lot. So just a little, little bit. And the reason I want to do that is when I get to stage three and I look at the code here, 
excuse me, stage four, and I look at the code, I'm adding in this loop, a 50 repeat loop with a little bit of a pause, and I'm just having the ball turn 15 degrees. And since the sprite is slightly off center, it gives the ball that effect of turning a little bit. So you can see it change. The other way of making this effect happen is going in and putting that into um, your code and making a mark on the ball. Now, if you want to continuously have the ball change and um, or have the ball roll, instead of putting this here, what we would do is put this under its own event because we can have more than one event happen at the same time. And instead of repeating 50 times, we're gonna just have it repeat forever and always make the ball roll a little bit. So this event will just happen in the background. Then the only difference here is I need to have something to kind of slow down and do a wait. So um, I'm gonna put in a repeat loop after the ball moves to where it's supposed to do, because really it's the background that's doing all the work on this one. And I'm gonna repeat 50 times and we're gonna just put in the same wait here A point one, and now when I hit my green flag, I can see that my ball's got a little bit of a spin to it now. It's constantly kind of moving. So if you want to do that effect, you're more than welcome to. Now, what about this spinning background? Well, what I did here was on this stage, now remember, this is stage four, so we have to have, when I receive stage five, it's gonna hide. When I receive stage four, it's gonna show, but I add a little bit of extra code here so that way it switches costumes constantly. Because what I did is I uploaded an animated GIF. So if I look at my costumes here and I go through them, each one is a little bit different and it gives me the illusion of going down this spiral. So I just found a GIF on the internet, a GIF, and look for one that was a downward spiral and I put that in. So you can do anything you want. I just kind of thought that would be fun. One last thing I want to make sure I mention that when green flag is clicked, we have to make sure that we hide this stage. And we have to do that with all of the other stages except for stage one, because we want all these other stages to make sure they are hidden when we hit green flag. So let's take a look at the whole thing one more time, hit green flag, And there we go. We can see our ball rolling down the spiral. It'll stop in, in a second or so. And then we are ready to move on to the final stage of our Rube Goldberg machine, which will be our stage five. So I think you'll have fun with this. Enjoy. I'll see you next time.